Hi, this is Chase with Learn Your New Mac. Today we'll look at some of the best new features of iOS 9 for the iPhone and iPad. Some highlights include the new low power mode, a redesigned keyboard, some major upgrades to the Notes app, a newsreader, two apps at once on the iPad, and an all-important new album and photos that will show you all those selfies you've been taking. To start off, the default for passcodes on your Touch ID enabled iPhone and iPad will now be six digits instead of four. This adds more security to your device. Another change that you'll notice right away is the keyboard. I'll open up the Notes app to show you. When you hit the Shift key, it will now toggle between uppercase and lowercase letters. Since we're in the Notes app, we can see a few new additions here as well. When I tap the plus icon, I get options for new features and notes. I can add a check mark list, which is nice for groceries and checklists. The A icon allows you to format your notes. The camera icon lets you attach photos into your notes. And then this little squiggle allows you to draw on your notes. Another major feature is that you can make folders and move notes to different folders. I'll move my note to the home folder. Click edit, select which one you want to move, and then say move to at the bottom left. Then you can pick which folder you'd like to move it to, and you're set. Next up, you'll notice the news app. News collects stories from your top news sources based on topics you're most interested in. It's pretty easy to start picking the topics you like and explore different news sources. You can go by favorites, or you can explore some different suggested channels, or just search for any magazine or topic. When you swipe left from the home screen, you'll see the new Spotlight search, which includes some new series suggestions with recent apps and people. It also shows you what's nearby from maps and some current news stories. I'll tap the restaurants icon, which will load nearby restaurants in the Apple Maps app. If you live in a big city, you'll probably like the new transit feature. Tap the I icon to switch into transit mode, and then you can see bus and subway lines. And now the feature you've all been waiting for. When you go into the Photos app, there's now an album specifically for selfies. It's actually pretty nice because it doesn't just show pictures of you, it'll show any photos with faces in it. To bring things back around, you can add the photo to the Notes app from here. Just tap the Share icon and choose Notes, and then you can add it to a new note or to any existing note. If you get a text message, you can jump to the message app as normal and respond. After you've replied, there's a new note in the upper left that says back to the previous application. When you need to quit apps or jump between applications, you can still double click the home button as normal. The way the apps are displayed is different from before. Fun fact, you can quit two apps by using two fingers to drag up on two apps at once. Another nice feature is that when your battery gets down to 20 or 10 percent, you'll get a pop-up asking if you want to go into low power mode. Low power mode saves you a little more battery life by turning off mail fetch, background app refresh, automatic downloads, and some visual effects. You'll still be able to use your phone as normal, and then as soon as you charge the battery, low power mode will turn off by itself. If you need to, you can go into settings, and then battery and then you can turn on or off low power mode. You'll notice when low power mode is on, your battery icon turns yellow. Another nice new feature is you can now see your battery usage and look at which apps are taking up the most battery. Finally, if you're on an iPad, you can run two apps at once with slide over, split view, and picture in a picture, which gives you new ways to multitask on the iPad.